Ladies and gentlemen, good evening. My name is Matthew Hardman. I am the G-Shock Watcher, and today I'm coming to you from Chengdu in China, Chengdu, home of the panda. Uh, instead of talking about G-Shock watches, I wanted to show you some of the things I've actually seen here in China. China's an amazing country. Um, if you ever sort of think that China is behind the times, you were very, very sorely mistaken. It's a very incredible, uh, progressive, and technologically advanced city. And where you would see this more than any other area is probably in their EVs, their electric vehicles. Now, in Singapore, uh, we have Tesla and we have BYD, but even BYD has vehicles here in China which the likes you've never seen. They are incredible. Incredible vehicles, luxurious vehicles, incredible features. I've had the opportunity to travel in some of them in the local uh, ride hailing service, which is kind of like Uber or Grab if you're in Singapore. But today I had the opportunity to visit some of the showcase areas of some of the electric vehicles that are here in the market. And I can tell you, I was absolutely blown away by what I saw today. We saw car designs that were absolutely fantastic. They looked like sports cars at a whole nother level. And they had the integration of AI assistance to be able to understand what you were looking for, understand uh, how to interact with features of the actual car to do navigation, all those different things. It, it sometimes sounds a little bit like, okay, well, it's Google Assistant or it's uh, Siri, um, but it felt like it was at another level. Uh, many of these AI assistants uh, predominantly spoke Chinese. One particular brand of car actually had the ability to talk in English as well, but some of them also understood the English language. And the experience was absolutely phenomenal. Uh, I had the opportunity to take some videos of some of those cars. And look, I'm not an expert, but I was really excited by what I saw. So I wanted to showcase some of these cars to you. So sit back and enjoy China EVs. Uh 它是目前的话非常智能并且我们现在开放的就是说无价值小屁对这个小屁这个小屁还不会用对就叫你好小屁然后我们说中文就好了你好小屁怎么了把副驾驶的门关上正在为你关闭副驾朋友说话有点硬
You have to say hi, Lomi. Sure, you 重新说一下，因为刚才是他唤醒的。Hi, hi, hi, Lomi. Hi, Lomi. 嗯，你说。哎，未来汽车怎么样？我当然觉得未来很好了。这是一家真正会替用户着想的良心企业，他们为了提升用户满意度做了很多努力。呃，你跟理想竞争的话，你有什么优势？理想汽车也在给用户创造美好出行，是很优秀的团队，但未来始终在为用户创造更愉悦的生活方式。这里做事的思路和态度更打动我。呃，你能用英文说吗？ So, what's the advantage versus the Nissan car? This car. Please speak in English. Compared to the all right. So, the advantage of Mio versus other EV brands is our dedication to providing a seamless and enjoyable ownership experience for our users. What is cargo Dolby Atmos? Oh. Oh, see the little dash there, the charging. Mm -hmm. Let's see the Dolby Atmos. Then this is the Wi-Fi the, that's charging. Like you can you charge your phone there, right? Not on the charging. I think it's here. Yeah. Mm -hmm. no? oh. Nice car. Well, see, so you can watch. Dune. Movie. Dune. Godzilla vs. Kong. Yeah. Godzilla. If your helicopters are as good as you say... Heaves. If your heaves are as good as you say they are, I believe we can do this. Don't do the job. You just gotta do yours. Yeah. Hold me, hold me. Yeah. Excellent. Dr. Andrews. We've avoided all Godzilla's known territorial waters according to your guidelines. Good. Do I need to be concerned? Yes, they do have a way of sensing threats, and we believe that they have an ancient rivalry. The myths say that their ancestors fought each other in a great war. So if they meet again, who bows to who? Is that it? <laughs> now, I spent ten years on that island studying him. I know this for sure. Kong bows to no one. This one is damn cool. This is a gun. Yeah. Gun. Oh. Yes. So, I see. 
This car can be competed with a Jeep Va Ranger. Oh, like the G-Wagon? Yes. Mm. Oh, oh. So there you have it, ladies and gentlemen, some incredible China manufactured electronic vehicles. These cars were just phenomenally comfortable. They were fully featured. They had some incredibly advanced capabilities in them. Um, sound and audio in those vehicles was absolutely fantastic. Comfort was fantastic. I, I can't gush enough about these particular vehicles. It was absolutely awesome. And I really hope we get to see more of these China built cars coming out into a Western market in the hope that not only will they become, I guess, more accessible, but it will also propel the industry forward from that competitive nature as well. So I hope you enjoyed the video today. Uh, we will get back and talk about Casio G-Shock watches again soon, uh, but thank you so much for joining me. I hope you have a great day.